Hey folks, um, so I thought we'd have a look at water quality in the UK. All right, and this comes in um, paper one. And for this, we're gonna have a look at a river. So what I actually just want you to do is draw kind of a curvy river like this, okay, across your page, like so. So imagining the river's flowing this way. Um, and then around it and kind of in it, we're gonna show you what um, can and can't go into rivers, okay? Or what has gone into rivers and what shouldn't anymore, okay? Now it's the um, Environment Agency's job to manage what happens with rivers and, and manage the water quality, okay? Um, so if you're wondering about whose job this is, that's them. Um, and you'll also know that a lot of houses get built okay, around rivers too. So just draw a couple of houses. Um, let's put in the houses or towns. Okay, and a lot of new developments love to be near rivers so that they can get that lovely flat land on floodplain, beautiful scenery, you know, the, the list is pretty endless. Um, but the problem is that all these homes, okay, in the UK have things like washing machines, um, and they have detergents and chemicals that find their way into the river. Okay, so we want to say detergents. So when you when you put some washing on and you're at home, okay, you use um, whatever you're using, a liquid or a powder, um, the grey water that leaves your house, um, some of that can end up being put into rivers, okay, sometimes by the water treatment company themselves. So detergents from washing machines. Okay, and in this country, you know, everyone has a washing machine um, because we're a high income country, but also from dishwashers. And I know not everybody has a dishwasher, but a lot of people do. Okay, um, so detergents from washing machines and dishwashers end up in our rivers, okay? Now there's a there's a really scary, sort of scary fact, sorry, scary fact, scary fact. Okay, no river in the UK is pollution free. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the middle. So no river, and there used to be, no, but currently no river in uh, the country, okay, is pollution free. All right, and that's um, that's a real shame. And unfortunately, I can't even sit here and say, well, it's gonna get better and it's gonna be fine because the greater the population, the greater the number of detergents and chemicals that are going in and, and other things. Um, so yeah, we wanna be, I guess, cautious of that. So um, maybe just draw a stick person, put population increase equals more pollution. Okay, so we are a factor, okay? The other thing, and I know we don't see a lot of these around, but if you can have a go, just drawing that, um, with a big chimney, okay? All right, um, is factories, okay? Right, factory. Now, historically, Rivers have often been used to get rid of waste from factories. Um, so we'll have quite a big arrow for this one. Okay. And what we're gonna call that is industrial runoff. So anything from industry that is getting into surface water, as we know surface water makes its way to rivers. Um, but industrial runoff, runoff is where water moves along the ground or through groundwater. Um, and it comes from factories and where they're manufacturing things and using potentially chemicals, harmful chemicals, harmful pollutants, anything they're using can find its way into the river. Okay, I'm just going to add some arrows to show the direction of the river. There we go. Okay, so there's us, there's industry, there is also farms. Now you might look at farms and think, aren't they lovely and natural? But the fact is, these farms do have uh, issues in terms of what they're using. 
um, and what's getting into the waterways. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and draw a cow. I'm really bad at this. Let's write um, let's write farms so we know that what I'm about to draw is a cow. Okay, I've never been good at cows. Um, it's going to be it's got a kind of straight back. That's the thing to remember. And then quite a big tummy and some legs. And then if we put a big sort of dairy cow patches on it, that might help. There we go. Right, there's my cow. Don't judge me. Right, livestock. We eat, as a nation, a lot of beef and lamb, you know, and, and pork. When they create waste, very often that livestock waste is entering rivers, especially if they're near a river, okay, because it will run off with rainwater. So livestock waste enters rivers and what happens, um, this basically causes bacteria to multiply. And bacteria in rivers is a bit of a problem because it can actually block the amount of sunlight that comes through um, and it can reduce oxygen. So livestock waste enters rivers causing bacteria to multiply. Okay, so this leads to a drop in oxygen, O2 for fish. Okay, so it's a bit of a problem for the kind of ecosystem. All right, and um, what they've done about that, I'll come to this in a second, but they've actually started creating laws about how close things like sheep, I'm gonna draw a sheep, better at sheep. Let's put a couple of little um, sheepy legs, there we go. Um, it's got a little black nose. Yeah, so sheep and uh, cows and pigs and things, they've actually created the laws about how close they can be to the river. Right, last thing, uh, I'm gonna put it, it's not the last, it's the last big impact, is a sewage treatment work. So a bit like, um, kind of like, a bit like a factory. This is a, an industrial space. Sewage treatment works. Now, this is where they treat our wastewater. So when you flush the toilet and it goes down into the sewers and eventually it will find its way somewhere like this, okay? And what they're actually, believe it or not, allowed to do, okay, is send treated water, okay, into the river, okay? it's. Not fully clean, it's not fully clean, you wouldn't drink it, but um, they are allowed to put it into the river, especially when um, it's been raining a lot or when there's certain conditions you know, where, where they're allowed to do a, a release. Um, that obviously has big impacts for that ecosystem. It's not uh, a sensible idea, it does lower the water quality. So what can be done about it? Draw yourselves um, like a podium with first, second, and then down here, third. Okay, so this is our podium in terms of like ways to kind of deal with this problem. So the best thing, the, the, the top solution are new laws, okay? And they brought in some new laws in 2018, okay? And these new laws basically restrict the amount of chemicals that farmers can use, they keep cattle at least 50 meters from rivers. Okay, so those, those new laws are amazing. Let's put, so cattle, as you know, we'll start with um, chemicals. So restrict farming chemicals. And the other one was um, cattle at least 50 meters from a river. Any closer and they just can't stop that waste getting into the river. So new laws, okay, really, really good. Um, the second one is called better, or the second solution is better drainage systems, okay? Um, now, this is particularly in urban areas. 
If there's not very good drainage, we're going to get to see lots more surface runoff and then we're going to see a lot more pollutants entering the rivers. But if the drainage is improved, then it should hopefully not make its way into the river, make its way to the water treatment works and then eventually uh, be disposed of, but not in rivers. And then the third one, and this is a little bit similar to the first one, but just a tiny bit different. Um, it's just for the sewage treatment works, this one. So this is stricter um, legislation, which is like laws, but they legis legislation. I've spelled that wrong. Sorry, leg is l e g i s l a t i o n legislation. There we go um, for sewage treatment. Okay, it just means what they can and cannot do is tighter, there's tighter controls around them. We need that, we need them to work on our grey water, our wastewater, but we need to be tighter in terms of our legislation on how they do it. So um, yeah, I think that's everything. The only thing I haven't written down was that it's the Environment Agency. So let's put up here in nice big letters, Environ, always remember the N there, Agency. Okay, who are part of the government in the UK who are in charge of looking after our waterways. I hope that's helpful.